Widow spiders are some of the most widely feared arachnids in the whole world, and at first glance, that might make sense. With some of the most potent venom of any spiders in the world, and their ability to cause death with their bites, these spiders have caused fear in many people. However, this fear is really just a misunderstanding of these docile and really non-aggressive creatures that I plan to dispel by safely handling all three species that are found in my region of South Florida. However, let's not get too ahead of ourselves, and the very first one we'll be out here looking for is the most common where I live, the brown widow. Alright children, I'm literally on my campus right now, and just so happened to underneath this little mailbox. Find some of the brown widow's extremely distinctive looking egg cases, which are white and spiky, unlike anything else. This would usually mean that the brown widow itself is hanging around close by, so let's take a really good look into this web. Alright, here she is, a nicely sized and beautifully patterned female brown widow spider. Now you could tell that this is a female, both by her large size and lack of distinctive palpable bulbs, or the structures that you would find at the end of a male's pedipalps. Immediately, you could see that beautiful shiny red hourglass-shaped patch, much like that of the famous black widow spider. However, not nearly as contrasting as the surrounding body is brown instead of deep black. Still, as you'll see later, this spider is covered in absolutely beautiful patterns besides that red hourglass. And as you can see right now, even though I'm getting quite close to her, she's just sitting calmly in her web, not even making an attempt to attack me. Alright, I managed to lure her out using a stick, and now she's just sitting on the ground. Right here. I cannot believe I'm actually doing this right now. This is a brown widow spider, Latrodectus geometricus. This is a species that I've been looking for for years, and now I'm actually holding one. Don't do this, please. These are highly venomous, and if you don't know what species you're working with or what the consequences are if you mess up, you don't want to be bitten by this spider right here. The brown widow spider is in the same genus, genus Latrodectus, as the very famous black widow spider. And they actually have the same kind of overall pattern with that bright red hourglass shape at the bottom of the epistosoma, which is the you know proper scientific name of the abdomen of a spider. With the cephalothorax or head thorax kind of combo being known as a prosoma. Now unlike black widow spiders, brown widow spiders are like you might be able to assume by the name brown and their legs are strikingly banded with black and their abdomens are also this light tannish brown with these beautiful white circles and these kind of orangish colored patterns on as well. When it comes to the bite, brown widows are extremely venomous, just like their famed black widow cousins. Using those sharp fangs at the ends of those chelicerae, or their mouth parts that they use to inject venom into their prey that they catch in their webs. Usually, widows like this will be catching beetles in their webs. Injecting... <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Injecting their highly potent venom into their prey. Now, even though the species' venom is among some of the most highly potent of any spider in the United States, it is still a very low risk to humans, for two reasons. One, the species is extremely shy and has basically no tendency to bite, unprovoked. And two, while the potency of the species' venom is comparable to other species like the Black Widow, their venom yield is significantly lower, and the effects of their bite are much more muted compared to that of the Black Widow. Still, that does not give you any means to be able to just randomly pick up these spiders as an allergic reaction or one bad encounter could seriously put you at risk. 
All right, hopefully I'll be able to find the other two species, which are just as amazing as this beautiful brown widow spider. All right, I'm going to release this beautiful brown widow right where I found her. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here where we find pseudoscorpions, some of the strangest arachnids in the world. Enjoy!